Good morning and happy Sunday. It's Dr. Crypto here with another crypto update and also a Bitcoin update and a Crypto.com and Kronos update too and a Tectonic one as well. So it's a sea of red and I did say pre-halving dumps, we could potentially get that. I know everybody's been bullish about the ETFs and you know oh, those ETFs have been holding us up but history is gradually still repeating because like I said in the previous video, we are getting these pre-halving dumps as rep capital says here the cycle is different because of the etf sure but it looks like this doesn't protect the price from the pre-halving retrace which is tends to happen in every cycle now since i've been in crypto and i've been through a couple of bull markets i have to agree you know it, it it's it's one of it i've not sold anything to be honest with you because i'm not scared out the market now i know a lot of people are getting a bit fearful now uh, and saying this is it it's all over the bull market is over and the more and more people say this the more and more i'm bullish on the prices because obviously I'm, what i see this is as i've been an investor myself and been investing in the stock markets i see this as a potential opportunity yes we could see here on the charts that it's just been a downtrend as you can see here we've had these higher highs and now we're coming down on this here basically until we break this trend line here and get above this trend line for a reversal we can go even further now my target is if we do there is a potential that we could get down to around about that sixty thousand dollar mark now if we get to that sixty thousand dollar mark that's where i feel where the bottom's going to be but obviously there's also an opportunity here this is the weekend and also we get less liquidity as well so the price is easily more manipulated and um, we've got the cme gap as well in our favor but we could also like i say come back down get above this trend line and start pushing back up to around about that 70 69,500 to 70,000 dollars but at the moment we're sort of breaking breaking down on this trend but like i said i'm not fearful you know I've, I, this is something what happens on every cycle and what it does is it basically it shakes out all the weekends it also gets clears that leverage the people who who bought at the top and it clears everybody out like you know it puts a reset in the charts and that's what we want and then that's when we get more of that explosive move so i'm not selling nothing you always do what you need to do as a person because everybody's in everybody's in a very different situation but we have got some hope because what i'm actually seeing here on the charts is if we got here we've got the downward pressure coming here but what we've also got is we've got a line of support that is being created now as you can see here what that's causing is that's creating us what's called a falling wedge that is showing that a reversal could be happening at any point in time like i said we could fall down even lower and then but at some point we'll come and we'll break back to the upside like i said we've got that cme gap as well which is pushing us straight up to that 69,500 mark. But like I said, a lot of the times when you get these falling wedge, they do end up breaking to the upside. So that is that little bit of opium we've got here. So for me, it's like I said, I'm not getting shaken out. This is a DCA in opportunity for me in a lot of coins that I own. As you can see, a lot of coins that I own on here, and there's a few more like XTP that I own as well, and also tectonic i also own that tectonic at some point will explode i'm pretty sure of it when this bull market reunites again i can imagine that's going to move because the chronos chain is getting stronger and stronger as well and if cro's get stronger then obviously tectonic might make some moves as well but like i said we've got this falling wedge which has been created uh, and this is on the elder chart we could have a look at this Fibonacci retracement as well. And like I said, we can still see that falling wedge, what I've just created here. And right now at 0.236, we've got that area of support here. But if we break further down, and like I said, there's a chance that we to get that 20, 21% pullback, we could end up coming down to that $60,000, $59,000 mark, which is around about that 0.382% of the Fibonacci retracement. So we've got a lot of support down here to hold. And then obviously, but hopefully we're not going to come back to that. But there's obviously that risk as well. So just bear that one in mind that we could actually come down even further quite sharp, sharply. If we do, we could be a, a big wick down to the downside and then V-shape straight back up. But at the moment... We can see here we've got that falling wedge coming down 
we've got these areas of support around about here so and obviously come monday morning come maybe even tonight that we may even get that reversal i would like to see a nice wick down here to the 60,000 and then push straight back up and uh, up to the upside and restart moving back up and the old start to move up as well because we obviously you know when we see this we just see a sea of red within the altcoins so if, I, if you can see here this is on it's just refreshed we are getting a bit of green at the moment but if we go on the day there's a lot of things down but on the week it's a bit of a mixed bag but look at this doge down 20 percent sam down 23 percent bonk 24 percent shiba you know, 29 percent are these dca in opportunities that's what you got to think about is it a dca in opportunity for me it's come to a point now where yes i will dca more but if bitcoin drops down 260 i'll buy a little bit more but as you know power dry powder doesn't last forever <laughs> so you know there's a lot of people and i'm not selling anything yet because obviously this is this is bull market which we are in we've got a long way to go so just bear that one in mind okay let's get into a bit of cro right so let's check out cro so you can look here it looks pretty brutal and it is pretty brutal because You've seen us hit the the high, get up to 16, 17 pence, and then we're straight down to 13 pence. But you, it's like I said, you know, if you've been buying it around about four cents, fifty cents kind of mark, you, you're still in, well in profit. And uh, it's for me, I'm just sitting back because when you look at it, it looks really brutal. But if you put it on the monthly, look at that beautiful there. We, you know, I, it's, I was buying down here, and then we've had this massive push up rather a rounded top here and we've come back down to 13 pence now obviously looking here on the fibonacci we've basically lost the area of support here and basically we've lost that end that trend to the upside there we had that rounding top come here and now like i said if bitcoin pulls back down to 59 60 thousand dollars i'm expecting at least 12 pence on the cro price now again for me, we've got this area of support where we're holding here around that, that 13 pence kind of mark area. So I'm expecting hopefully that holds and then Bitcoin at some point today reverses back up and everything starts moving back to the upside. Um, I'm just basically watching this very carefully, but expecting that we could end up just basically just tumbling over down to here and holding this area of support and then making our way back up. Obviously, it's subject to what Bitcoin does. So looking at the four hour at the moment, we had that, as I mentioned before in the other video, that we've got a beautiful smart trail, which is basically the trend is your friend until the very end, but it's not very end. We've got that big, strong push down because of obviously Bitcoin. And then we bounced up here, had a bit of a V-shaped recovery, and then the bears came in and pushed us straight back down. And we've created on smart trail, a bearish trend on the four hour at the moment. But if we look actually on the daily chart, I mean, if it just reset that a bit, we're in this area, this channel here, which I've mentioned before. And then we've got that smart trail here, which is your trend. We're basically touching the bottom of that trend. So hopefully, what I'm hoping is the trend holds and then we can push back to the upside. So at the moment, we're on that cusp of that smart trail. So we don't want to lose that. Hopefully, we don't lose that. But like I said, if we do, we could come back down to around about that 12 that 12 pence kind of mark and if it's like i said at the moment for me this drop here which has been about around about to where we are now about a 22 percent drop is a dca in opportunity for me now obviously we could like i said we could drop down to that 12 pence which would take us another another four maybe another five six percent down maybe seven percent down and that's maybe another little bit of a dca opportunity for me but you know, overall, when I look at Crypto.com and Kronos, as I've said this many times before, it's looking really, really bullish in my eye. You know, it, 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 like I said, we could go even further, but obviously, we just got to bear in mind, we are, like I said, we're in this correction phase here. Because don't forget, Bitcoin has moved up quite considerably, you know, from that 15,000 all the way up to around about 73,000. And obviously, pre-halving, we always get this correction. And a lot of people were thinking, well, no, history's changed. I mean, I thought that a little bit. Uh, and then, but obviously, it has happened and it is happening. But when we get that pre-halving uh, and it's over uh, and everything, the supply's been cut in half, the demand there, expect explosions to the upside. But you've always got to have, a, like I said in every video, you've got to have uh, a risk management. You've got to have a plan there.
And just cover a little bit of what uh, Kronos and uh, Crypto.com, uh, Chris, the CEO, tweeted out, Titan is coming. So as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, Kronos announced the upcoming Kronos Titan upgrade. The Titan delivers a major performance improvement, allowing the chain to run smoothly, even in times of high transaction traffic with 10 times faster block executions. Uh, it also lays a foundation of up-and-coming users facing features that leverage the best of the Cosmos and Ethereum, such as interchain accounts and accountability uh, abstraction. So you can actually click on the blog here to get more detail, because when you get into the detail, it does get a lot more uh, technical. But overall, for me, that uh, sounds really positive and really good. And you've just got to, you've got to really zoom out. It's out of CRO. You've just got to zoom out, really. If we go on to the uh, if we go on the five daily here, and look where we are, and this is where the all time high is. This is where we are at the moment, and we're still holding the line. And we've only just started to turn blue on the smart trail on the weekly. So when you get these uh, downturns, you've just got this will happen all through the bull market. As, as Bitcoin starts moving higher, we'll start to get bigger pullbacks again, 20, 30 percent as we go higher and higher and higher. And you've just got to expect that. And don't forget, at the weekends, you get low liquidity. You get even less liquidity than you would in the week. And what I've, what you get is you get a lot of manipulation that happens from the whales because the, you know, because the institutions like Black Rocks don't buy at the weekends. They're Monday, Monday to Friday, and that's it. They don't do anything at weekends, but the big whales do. So a lot of these big whales are probably short in the market to scare you out so they can go and buy your Bitcoin or buy your crypto uh, and that. You know, so they want to put more fear into you because they want you to sell up. Because if you start selling up, that cascades the, the price down and that makes the price cheaper for them to buy in. So if they scare retail, which they do all the time, then obviously that's a good buying opportunity for them. And that's what I see. I see it's just as a buying opportunity for me. I follow what the whales are doing, but when you look at Kronos and what crypto.com are doing, it's quite amazing, really. They've been building through this bear mark, through the bear market that we had when they got all that forward. Some of you guys might not be, or girls might not have been around for that, but they got a lot of FUD, but they stood strong and they've ended up shining and they just kept on building. And if you know something in the bear market, when everything was down and scary, you know, they said in the good times, we will get these perks back. And true to their words, they kept to it. And where are the fudders now? They've all disappeared. You've got all these big influencers, these big, big influencers who were fudding the heck out of crypto.com in support of other ex they're supporting other exchanges, but crypto.com, they were fudding to high heaven. And uh, you know, you don't hear them anymore fudding crypto.com because they, they, they won't say anything else about CRO or crypto.com because I don't think crypto.com needs these influencers. They they do in their F1 Grand Prix and and such like. So they, why do they want to spend their money on some of these influencers? They don't. They're spending their money in better places like the F1 Grand Prix and the and the UFCs and that lot. So you've just got to zoom out. You've got to zoom out and see. Have a look what they Crypto.com and CRO are building, and look and zoom out on the chart as well. Let's have a quick look at uh, Tectonic and see how that's doing. So looking at Tectonic at the moment, the market cap is sitting at around about $33 million. We're sort of down uh, on the day of around about 5.66%. The volume is down by 24.98%. And I'm not surprised about that because obviously we're in the weekend. But like I said, looking at this very briefly, we're on this downtrend as well. We've been pushing down. But if you look actually on, on the uh, yearly, so we've been on this down previous to May 2023, we've been down, and then we had that big impulsive wave to the upside, like a lot of altcoins, and then basically we started to push down now. And then basically, look at this on the green. We've got these two beautiful green candles here. So overall, when you look at, if you look at zoom out of actually a lot of these coins, not just at, at Tectonic, but you zoom out, and you can actually see the bigger trend, which is to the upside. And Tectonic is the same thing. There's nothing really to report uh, on Twitter as such. I could check on that and see what's going on on Twitter, see if there's been any new tweets. There's nothing really. Same thing as I mentioned uh, previously on the other video that I did a couple of days ago with single finance. But nothing's really, really changed at the moment. Like, But when Tectonic, for me, 
it's just one of those ones where I've just been DCAing for quite a long time because at the end of the day, if Kronos ecosystem is doing well and CRO and Crypto.com are doing well, Tectonic are doing well, and you don't know what news is going to come out at some point, it's going to shock it. And then basically, like in the previous bull market, you know, we've had some really, really massive gains uh, in Tectonic, and Tectonic can move. When, the thing is, it's like with CRO, CRO can just move and it can go up back to where it was previously a, a few a week ago. Uh, and the so tectonics the same. But like I said, we are starting to turn a bit green. We have turned a bit red there. But obviously, zooming out, you know, the bigger picture. For me, I'm DCA in a little... I've actually bought uh, yesterday, I bought a little bit of tectonic. I didn't buy much. I bought a little bit and I'll DCA in. So that's like CRO, I bought a little bit and some gaming coins as well. I've bought a little bit. Uh, I'm not really touching any more meme coins at the moment. I've still got my big bag of uh, Pepe, and I've still got, and I've bought a little bit of Shib as well. And that. So Pepe and Shib are my main altcoins. I'm not, I don't touch anything else. They're my, they're my small bags that I've got, because at the end of the day, they have been getting a big hit, but... You know, when it come, when we start kicking back off up to the upside, they will go back up at some point. But you, with mean coins, you just got to be careful. You know, they could easily go to zero. But I don't really think. I'm pretty confident Shib isn't going to do that. They've been around a long time. And then Pepe, I don't think that is as well. I think that's going to to, to surprise a lot of people even more to the upside. But uh, I think that will be at a later date. But you know, stay strong out there. Don't forget, low liquidity. Let's see what happens from Monday onwards. Take care and have a great weekend.